when you look at education, and I, I'm glad I saw the, the theme that you gave in terms of Ghana's global competitiveness. If you look at the challenges of education in this country within a global competitive framework, you'll be able to recommend some solutions and be able to confront them and solve them. For example, 2015, the last time I saw the PISA score, Program for International Student Assessment, Ghana was last, and we left. We shouldn't have left. We should have gotten around it and began to question ourselves, why are students not thinking critically? And why are we assessed poorly in reading mathematics and science? Vietnam did not quit, and Vietnam now is one of the countries that is scoring very high on PISA. We quit and said that we are the last, therefore forget about your exams. We are going back in 2021. And we have developed a curriculum that will respond to the challenges of PISA. What is PISA? The, the uh, Program for International Student Assessment. For once, it's an talk international about PISA day, assessment. You know, the of Christmas. International assessment that enables you to know how critically your students are thinking. In fact, Friedman and economists have said that mm. if students are in the generation, if they score proficient on 420 score, if they get 420, which is a proficient score, mm. during their lifetime, the GDP of their countries will grow 33 times. Let's say it will grow five times. It's a great opportunity. But we went in there and we, we stopped. Let me tell you, when you look at somebody who knows a bit about education, when you look at the education system and talk about issue of access, issue of quality and relevance, these are the three things we have to be considered. Now, in the issue of access, FKIP did a fantastic job. We were able to assess ourselves. Primary and junior high, we are doing fantastically well. But in 2009, the gross secondary enrollment ratio was 36.1% when NDC took over. They did a fantastic job moving it to 50.1% when they left. 14% in eight years. Within two years of Nana Dodanko Kufuano, we've grown it 12% to 62%. This is a shining light. This is a message that the people of Ghana need to hear. Uh, yes, there's, in there's, the a, there's process a question for clarity for cycle? For gross enrollment rate for which secondary. Country? Secondary. Yes. You see, this, this is moving us up into global competitiveness, thinking about you have a critical mass of your people who have been educated. Now, you look at tertiary, and it's not good. 16.19%. Compared to 93.6% for South Korea. When we're independent, of course, 1960 were better than them. But now we've left behind, and we are 1619 It's nothing to write home about. So when you talk about education in this country, let's situate it within the context of how you move your country forward in the knowledge economy. I've, I've said always that in the knowledge economy, education is not a piece of the puzzle, it's the whole puzzle. So we need to be looking at these issues that are confronting us. Our human capital index is nothing to write home about. Even though it's one of the highest in Africa, why should we use the African norm as something that makes us happy? 44.44. .44 which means that 56% of the human capacity of the children growing up today, 56% is going to be wasted if nothing happens. Within this context, we should be able to look at what are we doing right, what is it that is wrong, and then hold the bull by the horn. And so when you talk about we don't want to do too many reforms, my brother, this world is not waiting for us.